what if financial institutions could have their compliance report built themselves? Powered by AI models that work together like a relay team. In this video, I'll show you how we used model chaining to orchestrate multiple AI models, each handling a different part of a complex compliance problem. From crunching trade data to identifying risky patterns, all the way to producing a polished report packed with sophisticated charts and insights. Instead of drowning in spreadsheets and manual reviews, imagine an AI power pipeline that does the heavy lifting automatically. Stick around until the end because you will see the full system run live, the models chaining together, the workflows firing, and the final interactive report that you could hand straight to your leadership team or the oversight group. The traditional way of handling compliance and trading surveillance is still heavily manual. Giant CSV exports from multiple systems, endless spreadsheets stitched together with fragile formulas. Teams spend hours checking trades, reconciling accounts, and investigating anomalies. The workload is enormous, prone to error, and it distracts compliance teams from higher value opportunities. The process is slow, costly, and resource intensive. Here is the alternative, an AI-powered pipeline that understands the rules and handles the heavy lifting. It reviews every trade against policy that automatically detects three common issues. Minimum holding period breaches, round trips, and large trades. Behind the scenes, the AI writes and executes Python code to run the calculations and produce a report that highlights every account with violations. The result is a clear visual that turns raw transaction logs into insights your leadership or oversight team can act on. Let's talk about the technology that makes all this possible. The entire solution is built on the Microsoft Power Platform, with Copilot Studio agent floors orchestrating the automation from end to end. All the trade, fund, and account data live securely in Dataverse tables, ensuring clean integration and governance. The final reports are archived in SharePoint. Notifications flow seamlessly through Outlook and Teams to keep shareholders informed in real time. At the intelligence layer, it uses OpenAI's latest model as of September 2025. GPT-5 reasoning for the hardest problems, GPT-5 chat for most use cases, and GPT-4.1 mini for the more straightforward tasks. And best of all, everything runs within your Microsoft 365 tenant on Azure, making the solution fully enterprise grade with security, compliance, and audit built right in. Here's the real value, model chaining. Not every compliance challenge has the same level of complexity. So why use the same tool for everything? Instead, I have built a workflow where each model plays to its strengths. Take minimum holding period breaches. I know it's quite a mouthful, but it is also the most complex problem. It requires deep reasoning across multiple trade, deeds, and fund rules. For this, I'm using the most sophisticated model, GPT-5 reasoning. Then there are round trips. Still tricky, but more about identifying repeating trade patterns than heavy policy reasoning. For this, I rely on GPT-5 chat which handles structured pattern detection with speed and precision. Finally, large trades are straightforward threshold checks. There is no need to throw heavy weight reasoning at this. So I'm using GPT 4.1 mini, a fast and efficient model that gets the job done without wasting resources. By chaining these models together in a pipeline, each task gets the right level of intelligence. No more, no less. The result, a smarter and more performant process that's both cost-effective and compliance-ready for financial institutions. Here is how the automation actually works. Every weekday at ATM Central, the flow kicks off automatically. No button presses, no manual setup. From there, three analyses run in parallel. Each AI step first queries the trade, fund, and account tables in Dataverse to pull all the relevant data. Then the models write Python code based on natural language prompts and run it to perform the analysis. GPT-5 reasoning handles minimum holding period breaches. GPT-5 chat scans for round trips. And GPT-4.1 mini flags large trades. 
Each set of results is logged into SharePoint for tracking. Once those three tasks are complete, the flow moves into the aggregation step. Here, all the findings are combined into a structured JSON output, including both the data and the visuals. That JSON package is then passed to an Office script, which transforms it into a polished, professional report. Finally, the report is archived in SharePoint for compliance, and an email notifies the compliance team with a link to the latest version. So it's waiting first thing in the morning to review and act on. Before we see a live demo, let's take a closer look at the prompts that guide each analysis step. These prompts define the specific rules and the logic AI model follows for their respective challenges. For minimum holding period breaches powered by GPT-5 reasoning, the prompt enforces a strict first and first out lot matching policy. It pairs each cell with the oldest available bias, computes the holding days, and flags a breach whenever shares are sold before meeting the minimum holding requirement. Importantly, there is only one bridge per cell, no matter how many lots it touches. For round trips handled by GPT-5 chat, the prompt applies a 30-day window. It looks for buys followed by the earliest eligible cell within 30 days, applies same-day timestamp rules, and ensures each cell can only be paired once. The result is a clean, non-overlapping set of round-trip events that reveal short-term trading patterns. Finally, for large trades, GPT-4.1 Mini applies a very simple rule. Any trade whose effective amount is at or above the threshold gets flagged. Both buy and sell sides are included, and the side is captured in the output for clarity. Each of these prompts ensure consistency and precision, while also playing to the strengths of the model running it. GPT-5 reasoning for the most complex logic, GPT-5 chat for structured pattern detection, and GPT-4.1 mini for straightforward thresholds. Now let's look at one of the most important pieces, the aggregation prompt. This is where all three analyses come together. The inputs to the step are the outputs from the prior three analysis steps. The prompt tells the AI to ingest these workbooks, validate the required sheets and columns, clean the data, and standardize everything from dates to numerical fields. Next, it applies reconciliation rules so accounts and funds line up properly across all the three controls. Then comes risk scoring. Round trips count once. Minimum holding breaches count twice. And large trade count once. Creating a transparent weighted score for each account. It also generates a series of visuals. Leaderboards of the top accounts by risk score. Stack bars that show how round trips, minimum hold breaches, and large trades each contribute to risk. And even a distribution chart of large trade amounts to highlight where thresholds are being crossed. These visuals turn raw data into patterns compliance team can immediately understand. Finally, all of this is returned as a strict JSON object that follows the schema defined in the prompt, ensuring the results are structured consistent, and machine-readable. Let's run the demo and see it in action. The flow triggers. Three AI tasks start in parallel. One analyzes minimum holding period breaches. Another detects round trips. The third flags large trades. Each task query the trade, fund, and account tables, runs its analysis, and logs results. All of this happens automatically and prepares the data for the next stage. With those three analyses complete, the aggregation step takes over. It merges the outputs, computes risk scores, and prepares the package. Then the flow archives the report to SharePoint and emails the compliance team a direct link to the library. Now I'll open the email, click the library link, and open the latest report. This is the fully automated output from the run we just started. Let's walk through what it shows. The report begins with a confirmation section. It lists the data sets used, round trips, 
minimum holding period breaches and large trades. It also shows the risk weight supplied. Round trips count once, minimum hold breaches count twice, and large trade counts once. A shorts note section captures key policy details and assumptions for transparency. Next is data quality. Here you will see counts for round trip pairs, minimum hold breaches, lots evaluated, and large trades included in this one. If anything were missing or out of field, it would be highlighted right here so reviewers can trust the numbers at a glance. Then come the visuals. First, a chart of the top accounts by risk score. It's a quick leaderboard that makes it easy to spot where attention is needed first. Next, a stacked bar chart show how round trips, minimum hold breaches, and large trades each contribute to the total risk. Finally, a distribution of large trade amounts with the threshold clearly marked helps spot outliers. The next section focuses on the top accounts by risk. For each account, you can see counts for round trips, minimum hold breaches, and large trades. You also see the overall risk score and a simple risk bar to visualize severity. This makes triage fast and let teams jump straight to the highest impact cases. Finally, the report drills down into the account level details. For each account, you will see the line items for round trip events, then the minimum holding breaches, and finally the large trades. Each includes trade dates, amounts, shares, and other details. It's all laid out clearly, so action items are obvious. That's the end-to-end -end demo, an automated pipeline that ingests real data, applies policy logic, changes the right models for the right task, and delivers a clear decision ready report. Every weekday morning, without the fire drills. Now let's put some real numbers behind the ROI. For financial institutions, manually handling data surveillance and compliance means significant ongoing costs. Teams of analysts spend weeks consolidating data, reconciling trades, and preparing reports. Industry-wide, these burdens run into millions of dollars each year. Let's compare that with automation. The capital expense of designing and building the solution is modest. By conservative estimates, it takes about one sprint to design, another sprint to build, test, and deploy. With a senior engineer billing at $200 per hour and assuming two sprints of 80 hours each, you're looking at around $32,000 in upfront investment. The operating expense is even lighter. Running the solution on the Microsoft Power Platform costs about $200 to $300 per month. Call it $3,600 per year on the high end. That's a fraction of the cost many organizations spend each year managing manual compliance processes. Now let's talk ROI. In the first year, including both the build and the operations, your cost is about $35,000. In the years that follow, your brand cost drops to just a few thousand annually. More importantly, automation frees compliance teams from repetitive manual reviews so they can focus on higher value more productive work, improving oversight, accelerating decision making, and even creating new opportunities for revenue and efficiency gains. So the trade-off is clear. You are swapping high six to seven figure manual costs for tens of thousands in automation with break-even in year one and substantial returns every year after. That's not just ROI, that's transformation. But here is the important part. This is just the start. What I've shown is one automation tackling three of the most common compliance challenges. With the same approach, financial institutions can extend these flows to cover other policies, controls, and risk models, creating a complete AI-powered compliance framework. And because it's built on a modern, low-code SaaS platform, you get more than just automation you get faster time to market. They bleed you to evolve as regulations change and the confidence of enterprise-grade security, compliance, and auditability, all built in from day one. This is the power of combining AI with automation. 
sophisticated where it matters, efficient where it can be, and ready to scale into what double comes next. If you found value in this video, please take a moment to like and share so more people can benefit from these insights. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. I'll be posting more hands-on solutions to real-world business problems, along with practical tips and best practices you can put to work right away. All supporting resources, including prompts, office scripts, slides, and other materials, are available for download in the description below. Together, we can transform businesses one intelligent solution at a time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.